Well, I just got my Bedini Renaissance charger. Um, <laughs> it wasn't packed that great because uh, I got a dent in it actually. Because uh, I had this thing in here like this, and there's a this was bent over here, but it seems everything works. I don't give a shit as long as it works. But I figured I'll put that on this video just in case there's a problem with it. <laughs> I got a good smack right there. You can see right on the corner, you know. But that wasn't for me. That was from, I just picked it up right now. So uh, what happens is when you uh, connect a battery, this bad boy is getting hot. So let me shut this down. Is uh, I don't know. If it, I'm not sure about these nine volt batteries, but um, what it has here is a the list of you know two double A's, two triple A's, four double A's, and oh nine volt. <laughs> <laughs> should have read it should have read it I had it on setting 4 actually and I was looking for where the hell did it say 9 volt I did that 9.6 volt <laughs> at uh, number 4 so uh, let me uh, yeah, that bad boy's a little hot let me get another battery and uh, uh, probably overcharge that puppy I wonder what the voltage is on it wanted to play with it right away man <laughs> Read the directions, man. I was reading directions inside when I was turning this. Uh, you notice some a person just gets in there and just does it. Screw it. So, let's get this thing on here. Yeah, I'm curious about this battery because um, I use these zappers a lot, and uh, you know, as I try to press it in the charger, uh, it's not doing anything. Let's see what happens when it does and it goes on a Bedini charger, see if it does something. And I'd say I'm not going to charge this battery anymore. It's usually supposed to take um, uh, 8.4 volts. It's at 9.5 volts. Usually I can get them a little higher than that. Well, we'll see how long the zapper lasts with this peppy, man. I bet you it'll last a while. It's cooling down now. So now Let's see what happens with this thing. This is what I'm wondering about. And this battery does have voltage in it, so the charger should start. Well, now it's saying 8.5 volts. That's, but you know, um, I noticed this thing is these. This one, these, whatever the hell I got these blue batteries from, they sucked. in. I threw away most of them. I wish I didn't throw away a lot of these batteries because I probably could have restored them with this. We'll see what happens. Well, I connected it up. I put it on setting one, which is that. So I was reading this, I didn't really notice the 9 volts there. For that's, I want to charge all my batteries with it, including this camera batteries, because this camera sucks down batteries left and right, man. It's pissing me off. They don't, they don't last anywhere near. I think if you set this camera on the lowest resolution, you get to 28 minutes out of it. It just goes to battery exhausted after about, I don't know, sometimes 15 minutes or something sitting around with these things man but uh, I'm gonna try charging with this but it is taking a charge and that's good and this thing's supposed to be automatic uh, it'll go to a green light after it's all set I think I'm gonna really like this actually what I'm gonna do is uh, I got my generator down here um, and this is supposed to be rated at a seven um, seven amper hour battery you know re rating now that battery's more than seven ampere hours, but uh, uh, the guy told me that it'll really work. Just that it just takes longer. So, you know, I'm probably sticking on something like this, or I don't know. I'm not sure what setting. Probably this, one of these two, one of these two here. Probably this one, number six, and uh, just watch the battery the thing is like the beauty of like doing the uh, uh, generator battery and a motorcycle battery something like that you know I can always add water to it except the mo well the motorcycle battery I can't that's an Odyssey battery that thing is like five years old man um, I, I like to see if it just lasts another five more years this will pay for itself you know easily just a couple bucks at a time because these are running four or five bucks these things and uh, you know, um, you know, motorcycle batteries will run you over a hundred dollars. And the other thing is, it comes with these magnets. 
So if you can't connect, um, you know, these leads to the battery because it's got some kind of weird configuration on the battery, it doesn't have something like this you can connect them to. What you can do is you can take these like these little lightweight neodymium magnets and stick that on there on a clip that to the uh, lead and then put the magnet on wherever the positive and the negative is. Um, the other thing is. Now this thing came on because there's some voltage. I think it needs like 1 or 1.2 volts to start. I think it needs 1 volt to start. I believe that's what it is. If you don't have any voltage in the battery at all, um, there's a thing on the back. You press to push in um, just to give it a charge. You can press it for like about a minute. It'll give it a charge just so it could start. So it's got the advantages of like both an electronic charger and a manual charger. Do you ever see that a lot of times even like on the car batteries and stuff where you can't get the damn thing to start. That's why I got manual chargers. Uh, you, if you, you have to get something in it to get it going. Then you can put the electronic charger on it. So this thing has like a manual bypass to get it going. So it's called, uh, this is kind of like the workhorse. This has been around like eight years. So it's already, you know, I mean, I didn't do that. I mean, that was the UPS or the way they had this thing packed in here because you see this wasn't on there all the way. It was like that or some shit. And uh, I don't know, they banged a the corner of it on the box someplace. I'm not even sure if it was <laughs> I'm not really sure if UPS did it, or maybe that's just how it was, but it works. I don't give a shit about the little... I'm just pointing it out, because just in case something does go wrong with it. But I don't think there is. Uh, it's been around, a product has been around eight years. Um, price dropped on them a little bit. I think they were running 370 plus 30 bucks shipping. This one's three, and now it's the same one's 300 plus about 30 bucks shipping. But that's what it is, Rejuvenation Series. Um, I'm going to come back here and see if it says green light yeah this is not hot <laughs> this one got hot I was like woo but it's probably okay it's probably alright um, I bet you it'll last on my zapper a long ass time because I, I go through these things I use the zapper the uh, power zapper device I use that every day for about six seven hours a day a lot of times so it lasts me I don't know a few days maybe that's it. Let's say you're reasoning it about 20 hours. It's about all you get out of it, so then I have to recharge these. Um, well, it might, they might actually last me longer, so that'll be a convenience. Main thing, too, is also these camera batteries I like I'm using, too. So I'm also going to use it, like I said, on that generator battery. That's probably within the realm of the specifications. The guy did say you could use it for car battery I don't know, online or something. They said you can't. Um, he says it just takes you longer, but I'll watch how it works. If it hits, this, you know, I think the red button in the back is the reset switch. That's your circuit breaker. The other, the white button, I believe, is the thing to push through. Um, the white button on the top, because you have the on-off switch right below it. And right above it is the white button. That, I think, is the uh, thing to push through the manual electricity, which would, um, you know... Uh, get it going if it's got like no voltage in a battery because it has to have I think one volt just to get it going so but it does pretty much everything you can see you know from on the top here um, yeah so I should have said I'm setting one um, so it tells you nickel cadmium nickel metal hydride lead acid Yeah, and here, so I guess if I'm doing the um, motorcycle or the um, diesel generator battery, I'd use this one for setting right here because it tells you it's right on the top. That's good. You know, lead acid, it's in gray, which makes sense, lead acid. Give that a shot right there, number six. Um... That would be a little bit above its specifications, but supposedly it can do the job. And I'll probably just use it to top it off versus like use it for the full charge. 
nickel metal hydride see it's got it in red here so either set you know either one I'm, I'm okay with setting one and what's cool about this yeah I could charge four at a time four double A's at a time right here nickel metal hydride nickel metal, metal hydride batteries at a time it's setting three that's pretty good I like this because it's a very versatile universal type charger and uh, pretty much suffices for everything but the thing is it's not just a battery charger it'll bring stuff back that normally other battery chargers won't bring back and you know, I might get the automotive one, the five, five volt, the five um, five amp, amp one, um, later possibly. But I have a load of freaking chargers. I got the Schumacher. I got this thing here. The uh, this was like the first uh, pulsing desulfator charger. I got several of those. I got another Schumacher that's got a uh, marine charger. And you also have the 50 amp boost charger Schumacher, Schumacher. I think it's how you say it. The uh, one that has the boost in it. It's manual charger. It's up to 50 amps. Probably, I'm thinking. I'm thinking about this. I might use this for the car batteries just to kind of top them off a little bit. But I'm, I'm going to monitor the voltage and not to charge them up all the way. But say, for instance, I got something just storing around. I got a maintenance-free battery. I want to just make sure it's got the most zap in it probably get it with that right there number six this looks like a pretty damn good thing and uh, it's already been drop tested not by me but <laughs> I don't care about that I'm just putting it out here about uh, just in case something goes wrong man I didn't do that shit okay but yeah I don't give a shit I don't care it doesn't bother me at all um, but yeah this is a great idea because I think you know the product has been out about eight years now and it's still not well known. Um, you could save a lot of money on this stuff because, especially if you're a contractor and you got all those tools like uh, 14, you know, 18 volt power tools and stuff, um, or like right here, these are your power tools, right? 18 volts. Um, you know, those batteries will cost you 50, 60 bucks. A lot of times people just throw away the tool because the battery's no good. But they've been getting way more life out of those batteries just with this thing. So if you're a contractor, you should be getting this for sure. I'm not even a contractor. I don't even have that kind of stuff. I just got, you know, a bunch of battery applications and various things that, uh, you know, even these. So I'm going to see how long it takes for this green light to come on. And uh, this isn't getting hot. That's good. <laughs> and I'm curious because this battery, this battery was shit. This battery was shit. You notice how I put it on the other charger? The light didn't come on. Didn't do anything. It's because it's got voltage in it, but it's not in there. The power is. I'm not saying the right term, but you know how you, sometimes you could measure a battery. And at rest, it says, you know, automotive battery, for example, it says 12.7 volts. And you're thinking, well, it's good. Well, that's not really what you got to do is you got to load test it, which I have a load tester over here, too, for that, for that type of stuff. But when you, as soon as you put it on load, it just drops down to like 2 volts or something. That's really probably what's wrong with this shit, because that's why the other battery charger wouldn't even put anything into it. This thing, I think, is sensing that this is not fully charged and it's, it's trying to put a charge in it we'll see what happens so you'll see it right away I'll, I'll, I'll probably take me a couple hours to see if anything happens well it's still charging uh, you can see the red light is on yeah it, it, it's automatic like you don't have to do anything special um, like you know monitor the system or whatever uh, as long as you got the right uh, setting like it goes one through uh, eight I think it is yeah eight and just follow the chart that's on top here what it says 
Uh, so if it goes to green, it's charged. If it's flashing red, it tells you it's uh, it, it, it's no battery. It's having a problem starting because there's no the battery's like totally dead. And then you can try to try to hit that manual button in the back to give it a little charge. So that that's going to take a while to charge up. And you notice the damn battery um, was not taking a charge on the other charger. Now if I use that on a zapper, it might last me. 30 minutes even though it had the right voltage it's got no power in it so it's taking a charge so it's probably going to work I shouldn't have thrown away all those other batteries now the other thing is I, I didn't even they probably tell you this someplace I, <laughs> I don't know where but you know um, those magnets I was thinking holy smokes that's how you can freaking charge the four AA batteries together you hook them together with the magnets and you clip one on this end and then you have a little nub on here to clip one on on that end and you can do all four so you can those magnets are very handy you can do like the two double A's or one, th you know three double A's or two d, d cell batteries or whatever just hook them together with magnets um, I think I have some other batteries in uh, God it's old I don't even use it anymore it's uh, the battery went bad in one of my computer backups I'm gonna try to see if that will restore that it probably will who the hell knows and if it does that's a $60 battery so you can see how this thing can add up pennies at a time it's amazing every home doesn't have these damn this damn thing because uh, you will waste the money um, eventually and yeah it's doing more than recharging batteries because almost all these battery chargers either they even these electronic ones I got the better ones like ever ready makes or some crap um, that would not start this battery I got two ever ready chargers electronic chargers that are supposed to be good it would not recharge that battery and it would say it was had about nine volts in it but it just would not start it so that was a good little test I don't know how long it's gonna take it's probably gonna take hours so I'm just going to upload this now, and uh, we're going to be running some tests on this in various, there's going to be a lot of up videos on this thing, because uh, I think this thing is really, really super, far more handy than a person would think, even like your cell phone batteries, you think your cell phone battery is no good, maybe this might restore it, some, you know, a problem with something like that too computer backup batteries power tool batteries it's pretty much does any damn thing and it's been out for about eight years so it's not new to not a new product it's just that it's not well known uh, it'll save you the money you know a dollar here a dollar there you're thinking well it's 300 bucks and 30 bucks for shipping they did bring the price down but you know um, it's like you will spend that money over the next couple years probably and uh, throwing away batteries that probably could have been uh, restored with this and this is just for rechargeable batteries but <coughs> I'm going to try to uh, do some other things too probably not supposed to like with uh, charging up because uh, I have done this I, I, I recharge the uh, <coughs> the standard D cell batteries they're alkaline but I don't charge them that long I put them on there a little while and check the voltage and shit but something like with this I think it would even do a better job on them they're not supposed to be able to be recharged I do I do get probably double the life out of them by doing that stuff but I'm careful I don't leave them on a charger I watch the heat like that one battery I showed you outside that was only on the charger for about 20 minutes but I had it set in the wrong setting I thought I read the wrong uh, 9.6 volts for a uh, power tool and that was not the nine volts for one of those little ones there so um, but uh, I'll live and learn you know